Hey, Cameron here with the Sea Butters Technology Channel. Today we're taking a look at the Zotac CI323 Nano. And we're going to be using this to make our own homemade router with PF Sense. But I thought it was kind of a nifty little box with some cool features. Dual NICs, USB 3.0, a USB Type-C port, SD slot, uh, HDMI display port, all with a 6 watt CPU and a passive design. So let's open it up and take a look. It's nicely packaged. This was $150 off of Newegg. Okay, nice little guide here. Comes with a VESA backplate, looks like, and a large fold out guide to installing your little PC here, which is actually above and beyond what you see with a lot of kits. So, kudos to Zotac for that. Got a uh, driver CD manual and the little device itself here. It feels fairly hefty, and I imagine that's because of the passive design of this little computer here. It's, you know, feels pretty hefty compared to an Intel NUC device. But uh, the heatsink inside must make up for a, a bit of that heft, but looks pretty nice. It also looks like it has an IR on the front of the computer there. So, really interesting looking device, and feels really solid too. So, let's see what else is in the box. We've got... Most likely the AC adapter in here. We'll get a closer look at it. Okay. Looks like in some sort of optical tip. Wi-Fi antenna. AC power cord. And the AC brick itself, which is actually Pretty small, looks a lot like a Asus EEE PC AC adapter, but the specs on this, it's a 19 volt output, 2.1 amp, so there you go. And a pack of screws, probably for the base amount and the, probably maybe an SSD adapter, SSD M2 or something like that, we'll have to take a look. And also the back plate. So I'll probably use this and maybe drill it right into uh, the plywood of where I'm going to mount this, but it can also be used as the base mount. So, anyways, we'll take a look at the inside of this little PC in just a second okay so very interesting thumb screws rubberized thumb screws here that also serve as the feet of the device so they look like they shouldn't really be screwing off but they you can see there they are rubberized screws so interesting never seen that before They designate, hey, I'm a thumbscrew, by showing a little crosshair pattern. I don't know if that's going to show up very well. But yeah, there's a little crosshair pattern on it uh, to let you know you can turn it. So kind of interesting there. 
We'll take all four of these off. That's what I call toolless. Okay, looks like that's a solid piece. And there is memory. There's a little memory sink right there, which is interesting for the, for the memory. It's nice to see. There's also some sticky tape to allow uh, the SSD to cool as well, it looks like. Also, we've got the little Wi-Fi adapter slot there. So everything goes right there in the top. Today I'm going to be using a Lighton solid state drive. This is pulled from a Lenovo uh, laptop. Also 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Hopefully this is compatible. This particular unit only accepts 8 gigabytes of RAM according to specifications. So we're going to max it out on RAM. It also has a dual RAM slot, but supposedly oh, it only allocates 8, even though you could potentially put 16 gigabytes in here. It wouldn't actually use the 16 gigabytes from what I understand, but uh, who knows? That may be something to test, but that's I don't have the capability to do that right now with the RAM I have on hand. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this installed. Hope you've enjoyed this look at the CI323 Zotac Z-Box Passive Cooling Series. Uh, stay tuned for the C-Butters Technology Channel for more tech stuff to check out. Thanks for watching.